at this crazy, intense boat of beer right here. Friday Night Flights. Travis. Alexis. Hello. And it's her birthday. Ah! Color. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're at uh, one of Alexis's favorite and my new favorite uh, breweries. This is Fremont in Seattle, right down by the water. Uh, this is springtime. This is they're they're getting into like their lighter beers, so we should really kind of focus on that. And uh, I got ten. Oh. I got ten samples, so we're gonna blow through this thing Not much like to crazy. Oh, jump right through it. Oh, by the way, so you saw the flight, how it lays out, but then they also give you this little card. So this is the Universal Pale, Universale <laughs> Pale, Universal. I don't know what. What are they? What kind of wordplay are they doing with this right here? Universal. I think I think it's Universale. I like that better. Like, like add, a, add a little bit of uh, Europe to it. Uh, 5.2%, so it's your standard fail. I like it. This one's got a lot of flavor. Usually they just taste like nothing. It's a good one. Yeah, and it's my job to get her drunk today, so. It's gonna be hard. This one's good. I like it. Um, it's good for a hot day. I mean, it's starting to get warm out. I mean, this place is packed with Seattleites who are, uh, of course, you know, shedding their, their layers because it's above 50. By the way, Fremont has some of the coolest uh, signage. Yes. Like their logo is awesome. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. All right. So next. We're gonna jump to one that I've had before and I wasn't really that impressed with. This is the 77 Select. Yeah. I don't know what they were trying to do with it. I don't know if they were trying to go for some old style of beer or something, but. I think they have a few variations of it as well. Oh, okay. I think it can change uh, by year. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> well, I don't know if it was good to begin with. That's my view. Yeah, it's just. It doesn't really bring anything to the table, which is a real shock because Fremont is known for like really awesome, well-crafted beer, and this is just, yeah. I don't know, yeah. it's just, it's not, it's not Fremont. It's good. beer, it's good. but it's not bad, it's just not special. This is not a rare snowflake. No. <laughs> Black! We're, we're probably not going to get into really things that we're jumping, that are jumping out of us until True. the second half which is where all the high alcohol shit is. Um, and that's where you're gonna watch my face turn upside down because we got like some sours and a goza and I'm gonna lose my mind on how gross that is. Anyway, um, I'll kill. Do you want any more of this? Okay. Okay. That says a lot. Yeah. Moving right along, Interurban IPA, which is one of their like flagship yeah. beers. You can get it everywhere. Yep. It's got a nice color. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't blow my shorts off. It's it's probably the the very definition of a Northwest IPA. Yeah. It it's got a toasted flavor that I kind mm -hmm. of appreciate, but you got to be in the mood for it. And honestly, Definitely. honestly, but this is kind of a beer, and it does be weird. It lingers. It lingers a bit. It's a good standby if, you, if there's nothing else on the list, and you see this, you could do worse. I think I even like the pale one. The pale was a lot sacrilege. more flavorful. Bleh. Flavorful? Flavorful. How, how, how long have I been drinking today? Okay. <laughs> this is the Session Pale. And I am not a huge Session fan. I feel like Sessions don't bring anything to the table. Nope. I feel like they're rushed beer. And uh, they're just kind of, I mean, they're made to basically like to drink when it's hot out, so I'm pretty sure that's why they're rolling it all out. It's a 4.5% and it's very, very light. This has got kind of a, uh, not a funk, but it's got definitely got a, like a weird kind of flavor. Yeah. It's a little bland. 
Right. Right. Kind of but, watery, I mean, that's a session. I mean, it's like True. they're never they're never anything bold. I am not a session. Yeah. If I see session, this, I, I would actually finish drinking. Well, then then you go right ahead and do that. This is actually one I've been kind of interested to try. There's Summer Ale, it's 5.2%. It just came out. Just came out. So the, it's April. So the, the, uh, it's a little early. The bar's a little high, but the sun came out but too. But the sun is out. So, sun's out, <laughs> gun's out. <laughs> what goes better with guns than beer? Say hi. Uh, more guns. And more beer. I think, I think that's a cyclical thing, you just keep I think it is. And then you end up being Arkansas. <laughs> so it's, it's it's kind of in the same realm as the session, but it doesn't. But it's got a better flavor. First taste of summer. It sounds like a porn title. <laughs> <laughs> you and I are probably going to come back here and do an addendum episode <laughs> next winter when they release all their winter beers. I would love to do that because I am going to go idiot over all of the. Uh, Abominable series because mm. that stuff is like fucking gold. It's good. Yeah, it's real good. It's worth every penny too. I mean, you pay 18 bucks here yeah. for a bottle, and, and you do not regret it one bit. So we're gonna have to come back and do that. But for now, summer. We're stuck with this. <laughs> it's not. It's I. It's just not summer yet. It's a solid what three? I give this three out on tap. Oh yeah. Uh. They have a giant tub of pretzels. Huge. Which is great. Yeah, and they, and they implore you to just, eat, just shovel them in your face. Anyway, this is the wheat. The wandering wheat. It is 4.5%, uh, so I'm assuming it's just a, like a, like a, uh, I don't know, it smells real fruity. That's pretty common. <laughs> Thing. I like that. It's a little candy-ish. It's a little candy beer-ish. Candy beer. It's very sweet, but not like overly saccharine sweet. But it's but it's it's full. It's full flavored. I like it. It's certainly not watery like the 77. Uh-uh. No, I could actually get a pint of this easily and just sip it. This is actually probably what I would go for on a hot day. Mm. Drink that. Put that in your mouth. Okay. See guys, it's just that easy. Oh yeah. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Next are two beers that I'm gonna absolutely hate, but I got them because they're so here. Am I. We're gonna hate these. The first one that we're gonna attack is the uh, grapefruit sour wiser. Grapefruit Sour Wiser. I'm not looking forward to this at all. I'm not a sour beer fan. Uh, I'm not a grapefruit fan. This is like gonna kick me in my teeth. I can taste it already. I just, it's not gonna be good. There's nothing to say that it's not a good beer. It's just not my. Beer. It's like drinking old squirt. It's, yeah. oh. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> squirt with armpit. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one more for the team. Come on, Alexis, you can do it. Another? Just one more. Just... And I'll do the rest. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're in flavor country. Amazing. <laughs> it just, I mean, it surrounds your little tongue. You know, uh -huh. It's everywhere. Yeah. Nope. Nope. <laughs> it's in there. She's like in full shutdown mode right now. She's just, this is just. Just trying to make around. it through. Alright, so you watch through. it. I'm going to kill this. Okay. Right now. Sweep the leg, Johnny! Mmm. It's just delicious. <laughs> it is like old dirt. It's like I threw up in my mouth a little bit. It tastes a lot like old Hey, let's get that like. out of our mouth with a goza. With another one we're not gonna like. <laughs> this is just their goza. They don't have any special name or... Whoa. Goza. I don't even know what goes into a goza. What goza into a goza? Uh, it smells better than the last one already. Oh. Yeah. 
I prefer something not grapefruit heavy. That might help. Mm, certainly not as horrible smelling as the last one. It smells like the goza. This is usually when I say, no thank you. <laughs> it tastes like uh, unfinished fermented water with yeah. lemon in it. Yeah. It's like bad lemon water. Yeah. This is a thousand times better than the last one. Yes, it is. And it's still Hands not down. It's still not that good. I mean if I had to choose between the two and that yeah. was all I had, go Yeah, go. yeah, go. for sure. Hmm. Goes up. Goes a down not so easily. <laughs> oh. Lame. There is light at the end of the tunnel. This, my friends. Better. is the Dark Star. It's an Imperial Oatmeal Stout and it is delicious. It's also in bottles and you can find it just about everywhere. This is everything an Oatmeal Stout should be. It's thick, it's kind of, mm. it's not syrupy but it's definitely sweet. It is sweet. And it's, uh, it coats your tongue and it's got a nice, even, dark flavor. Absolutely love this beer. This place is busy as fuck. It is busy. So fun. Hmm. I'll give you the rest of that. It's your birthday. According to Alexis, I'm really going to enjoy this because she really enjoys this. I should hope so. This is the sister. Which okay, so this they have they have a beer here called the Brother, which is their standard Imperial IPA. It's in bottles, you can get it just about everywhere. It's amazing. This is 8.5%. Uh, and uh, I'm actually really interested in finding out what the difference is between it and the brother. Uh, there is a difference in hops. Ooh, yeah, it's all—it's very much more hoppy. Like the uh, the brother is very sweet, yeah. almost syrupy. A little bit, yeah. Which I like. I like that in a double IPA. Yeah, I think that's, that's why good. I like this one better. It's a little well-rounded, a little bit more well-rounded. Oh, that's really good. Mm -hmm. I don't lie. That jumps right out of you. It's bitter, like an ESB. Mm, a little bit, but yeah. It's got a sweetness that kind of courses through it. I'll let you know that it's a double IPA and 8.5%. You don't taste the 8.5. Oh no, this will sneak up on you. Right yeah, this is ninja beer right here. <laughs> Best is of its kind. Just... Hoo -yah! Shall I? Yes, the rest of is yours. Anyway, Fremont is a fantastic brewery. Mm. As far as their, uh, their, their IPAs go though, I'm not a huge fan of their regular IPA, it's alright, but the, their double IPAs are amazing. They're amazing. I mean, we're going to get another pint right now of, of the sister. But uh, Fremont, it's a worthwhile place. Come check it out. Do not get the sours. Unless you're into sours. I still don't get it. Uh, or, or vomit. Move on. If Move on from the sours. If you're into eating vomit, you might like the sour. Graduate. Graduate from the sour. Graduate from vomit. You can do better. And have a dark star. And then your life will be much more happy. Friday Flights!